How do I just accept imagination as the only true reality? I tried to believe that it's the only reality, but it's hard. Just before I answer this, accepting imagination as the only true reality is the only thing you need to speed up your manifestation. It will dissolve your worries and problems and also validation. You won't beg someone for validation once you understand this. How to accept your imagination is the only true reality. Remember, when you didn't know about this law, you would think of someone that you didn't talk to for years and that someone will appear in your reality in minutes, hours, days, or weeks. Either by texting you, you seeing their post on your feed or they meeting up with you. Oh wait, let's say, remember, you were singing a song that you love in your head and that same song plays on the radio. Someone sings it or that same song comes in your feed in your TikTok exactly after some seconds or minutes of you singing that song in your head. Or let's say, you are in school, giving exams, and you know these groups of people saying and claiming boldly I didn't study a thing, but I will still pass. And when the results come, they still pass, even without studying. Remember. Oh, I have more. Remember, when you talk with someone about a certain topic, and that same topic pops up in your social media apps. Remember, a new teacher comes to the class, and y'all make assumptions about them already without even speaking to them. She is surely going to be so rude. And then, the teacher plays their part, of being rude. Remember, when you were about to say something to your friend, and he, she tells the same thing that you were going to tell them. And then you say to them, I was about to say that. And then they reply, oh really? Isn't this strange? How is this all happening? Didn't you ever think about this? Not a single thing you see in your 3D was there unless and until it was once imagined and felt, yes you did that, but you were unconscious of it. There are more examples for this, but I didn't live your life, so you think of these events, where you thought about something, someone and they showed up. Where attention goes, energy flows. Remember, everyone is pushed out, and the assumption you make about people will surely play their part. The world projects what goes inside your imagination. So if that's true, DOESN that means imagination is the only true reality. Because of the things you have, and people's attitude towards you, literally everything was once imagined and felt. And they got revealed in your 3D because 3D reflects everything that is imagined and felt. So if imagination is the only true reality, and you want people's validation, would you beg people for validation in the 3D? Nope, you would simply claim in your imagination that you are validated by people and feel how it would feel if it were true, and that will externalize. Now, I want your whole mind into what I'm gonna say now, as this is something people commonly do wrong, so listen. You are not trying to convince yourself of something that you're not, you are understanding that you already have the desire, you already have the marriage, the car, the house, everything, because it's in here in your imagination didn't understand. Read that text a million times, again and again, take a screenshot if you want, and just understand what it meant. As this is something people commonly make mistakes and don't get their desire. Just once if you accept your desires in your imagination, and feel it real, and believe that you have them, you would no longer try to manifest them. Why? Because you have it. You wouldn't be stressed about making mistakes with your techniques like, though, maybe, I didn't visualize vividly during my sad scene. Oh, maybe, I didn't affirm enough. It doesn't matter, you have it. Why? Because you have it in your imagination. And imagination is the only true reality. Like take this from Neville himself, here. When the man finally identifies himself with his imagination rather than his sense, he has at long last discovered the core of reality Neville Goddard. Q, but the 3D went the complete opposite. No matter what happens, turn within and be still Neville Goddard. Let Neville answer your question. 1. So everything I see in the 3D, the good, and the bad, is caused by me. The world is a mirror, forever reflecting what you are doing, within yourself. 2. Why are some people so rude to me? People echo, what you whisper within yourself Neville Goddard. 3. I want this thing so bad, but it's not manifesting. It is not what you want that you attract, you attract what you believe to be true. 4. I believed I have my desire, but it still isn't manifested, why? If you judge after appearances, you will continue to be enslaved by the evidence of your senses. 5. I read book after book on how to manifest in different techniques every day. I still don't get results. Knowing what to do is one thing. Doing it is another, and we are called upon to be doers of the word, and not just hearers only, deceiving ourselves. You can read one of my books over and over again. You can tell others what the book says, but if you never apply its message, the mere reading of its word will not benefit you. But if you will test your imagination, it will prove itself in performance Neville Goddard. This is pretty much it. I hope I helped people. I one small piece of advice I have. I overconsumed information for a year and two months. It wasted so much time in my life and I regret that. Please don't be like me. You know what to do. Stop scrolling and scrolling. It's an endless loop. Beware. Break the pattern today or the loop will repeat tomorrow.